continue in that discussion in our lecture 2. Let's take the income statement. This is called as income statement. Sales in units is 10,000. Sales at 80 rupees, 8 lakhs. Variable cost, 4 lakhs. Contribution is 40 rupees, 4 lakhs. Sales minus variable cost is contribution. And fixed cost is 2 lakhs. Profit before interest and tax, 2 lakhs. And uh, interest is on the borrowings is 150,000. And profit before tax is given. Now we are talking about measuring that risk. We discussed in the earlier lecture that there are two types of risks. One risk is called as a uh, risk that is arising on account of fixed cost. It's known as business risk. It's an unavoidable risk. Another one is the interest risk which arises on account of raising funds by paying interest. And we saw that this is an avoidable risk, unavoidable risk, but both of them is measurable using this formula. You see, how to measure it? Very, very simple. It arises because of fixed cost. So, contribution divided by PPIT is the formula. Now you can see, contribution is 4 lakhs, PPIT is 2 lakhs, 2 times. That means, for every 1 rupee of PBIT, the contribution generated is 2 times. And 2 minus 1 is the fixed cost. Similarly, here, operating leverage which arises because of interest, PBIT divided by PBT is 2 lakhs divided by 50,000, that is 4 times, 4 by 1. So, uh, that means, uh, 4 is the PBIT, 1 is PBT. So, 4 minus 1, 3 is the interest. That is the understanding. And uh, combined leverage, DOL into DFL, this product of this both is called as combined leverage. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to understand how to manage this risk. What is the risk means what? How we can manage it? So, interpretation of this risk is what we are going to see. What you should understand, friends, if DOL is more, it means fixed cost is more. DOL is low, fixed cost is less. D, sorry, DFL, this is called DFL. And uh, financial, same thing, if financial leverage is more value, it means risk is high. If the value is less, the risk is less. That is what you should understand. Now we are going to discuss this risk individually and also tell you how to manage these risks. That is the starting point. Then I am going to take situations like uh, why big big uh, entrepreneurs will be lost. You can take an example of Malia. How he lost? We are going to see using this concept only. Right. So risk measurement. Second lecture is on risk measurement. Right. Introduction to risk is the first lecture. Second lecture is risk measurement. Third lecture will be risk interpretation. Right.